I'm Angela Stribling for Capital Jazz TV, and I have with me the headliner this Saturday night, Brian Culbertson. Ooh, hey. I like that headliner. What? Was this your first time headlining I the Capital so. Jazz Festival? I think so. Really? They called me. I said, really? <laughs> I said, okay. Cool. I love it. I mean, you I mean, know, I've been here so many times. So but, you know, many it's, times. It's always so much fun to be here. So, uh, you know, when Cliff called us up, I said, absolutely. That's beautiful. Because it's been a few years since I played the festival. Mm. So uh, he said, you know what? We're going to bring you back, close it out on Saturday night. I'm like, let's do it. So, was it any different closing it out? Uh, well, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> that part's different. I don't know. You know, I mean, it's, it's always good, you know, no matter where you go. Um, you know, the, sometimes when you're a headliner and they've been there for like 15 hours, they'll start like trailing out. But I don't know, it felt great tonight. Mm. Um, everyone stand, they were up dancing, having a good time. So, you know, they love the music. Nobody was and that's, trailing. that's my favorite part of playing this festival. Mm. Everybody is such a fan of the music and they know all the music. Yes, they do. You know? And they're yeah. singing along, they're like, oh, that's my song. You know, that's that beautiful. Kind of stuff. But you know, so. you've never had a shortage of energy. So wherever they were, yeah. Energy-wise, you know, you brought everybody up, mm -hmm. and they were feeling you. They always do when you come to Capital Jazz. Well, hey, you know, I feel I'm feeling them. See, I it's love mutual. it. Now yeah. you've done the last time I saw mm -hmm. you perform was on the Capital Jazz Super Cruise oh, yeah. with Chuck Brown. That's right. That was amazing. And then it was mm -hmm. wasn't it right after that you guys did a song together? Yeah, we. Uh, I I still remember this. I I had actually never seen him perform live. Until or, then? Until the cruise. Wow. And so, you know, of course, I, I knew I was playing his music. You know, right. I was in college, you know, playing Bust and Loot, you mm -hmm. know, and all that stuff. And so I finally got a chance to see him and see what everybody was talking about. Right. It's an experience. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, absolutely. And I was in the middle of the dance floor dancing with everybody for two hours straight. That was amazing. You know how they did it. Yeah, it That was drummer amazing. never stopped. It was like the baddest drummer. The ship I was know. rocking. It was unbelievable. So yeah. I went up to Chuck afterwards at like 2.30 in the morning, and I said, man, I'm like a huge fan now, wow. and I would love to maybe work together someday. And he's he was such a sweet guy. Mm. And he said, Absol absolutely, I can't do it. <laughs> that was pretty good. You know, I was like, absolutely. <laughs> And uh, it was just a few months later where I uh, we really connected, and he, he came over. We wrote a song together. Wow. I said, Chuck, let's do some go-go together. Wow. And uh, I spent like five months straight just studying go-go hmm. and listening to everything that had been recorded just to get it sunken in. Because I'm from Chicago, so we didn't okay. grow up no, on that. It's a DC you know? thing. It's a DC thing, yeah. you know. Um, but when I discover something new and I get passionate about it, that's all I'm feeling for a while. Mm. So I came up with this track and I actually sent it to him and hoping he would like it. And he called me up and said, man, I love it. So uh, wow. he started writing lyrics to it and that's how we came up with that song. And then he, he flew out to L.A. We recorded together in the studio. Wow. Um, and then people started finding out that Chuck was in my studio and they started showing up. So, <laughs> swear. So all of a sudden I get a knock on the studio. I opened the door. It was Faith Evans. You've got to be kidding no. me. No. I'm like, how do you even know where I live? <laughs> okay. <laughs> or where the studio is, yeah. Wow. Uh, and then Ray Parker Jr. came over. Just showed up. Yeah. So were, was Chuck calling his friends and saying? I think Ch Chuck was with a couple people, and they were making some calls. <laughs> I mean, I. and then Sinbad came over. Oh, I love it. So all those people are on that track. I love it. And so it was a true organic like mm -hmm. party that was happening. That is fantastic. And it was a party. I'm sorry, yeah, it's right a, I can only uh, imagine. You know, right, right. <laughs> You're like, don't ask you any questions. You don't have to tell. <laughs> so, all right, great. in terms okay. of music. Yeah. No, but I love that. I love mm -hmm. that story. And just being, just being able to watch you guys when you first came together, that was mm -hmm. very, very special. Mm -hmm. You've got new music that you're working on. I do, I do. Can you tell us anything about it? Of course I can. Uh, oh, yeah. It's called Funk. Not with surprising. The exclamation point. <laughs> okay. Not just funk. Funk. Okay. There's a difference. You gotta yell it. You gotta yell it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I started recording this or writing uh, tunes last fall, and my whole concept was Parliament meets Prince. Wow. Yeah. Because I wanted that old school sing along mm. kind of P funk situation, right? Meets that Minneapolis funk sound. Wow. So we kind of melded those two together. So I worked with um, this guy, Chance Howard, 
who used to play with Prince and okay. the time. He's from Minneapolis. Okay. So we got together. He's been touring with Candy Dolfer a lot okay, as well. Okay, I love her. Yeah. You know, so they met when playing with Prince. Uh, so we wrote a lot of the songs together. I actually went to Minneapolis uh, last fall. I wow. uh, was recording a bunch of tunes. And so the album is all recorded. We're now mixing it. And it's coming out in September. Wow. And Chance is going to come out on the road with us. We're doing a whole funk tour starting in mid-September uh, for 10 weeks straight on the bus. I love it. So, on the uh, bus. On the bus. Oh, it's going to get stanky in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying, we're not showering. We're rolling oh from city to city. It's funk. <laughs> I'm going to get in the picture. <laughs> what? One of the I lines smell where you're coming is, from. Uh, don't worry about that stank. It's just funk that's on your shoe. Okay. Because we're coming. No, I mean, you <laughs> put know, some stank on that music. The whole record is like it's a fun kind of sing along type of record. You know, I wanted to do one it's of those. Nice. My last funk record, Bringing Back the Funk, was uh, it was co-produced by Maurice White, so it had more of the Earth, Wind, wow. and Fire mm. kind of vibe to it, which is a totally different kind of funk. You right. know, funk is all over the place. Yeah, but um, you're right. It's totally different. Yeah, yeah. But, and so I yeah. always wanted to do this other kind of thing. So that's, that's what beautiful. we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the fact that you came right off of the stage in here. So people who are looking oh, at I'm your all skin. Right now. I'm no, all but your you know your skin is all flush and we've got the energy from right off the stage right in here with I us didn't talking put my to horn us. Away. <laughs> I love it. So all right. So yeah. I know you're probably still on a high from what just happened mm. on that stage. Oh yeah. Where are you headed? The headed? adrenaline is going. It's going. It so is what's going. next for you? What are you doing uh, next? I mean, uh, tomorrow I'll do another festival and then Monday I actually uh, go to Napa Valley and I'm hosting my fifth annual Napa Valley Jazz Getaway, which is a uh, five day wine and jazz festival. Oh, out very there. nice. So this is our fifth annual. Wow. Uh, next week. Uh, so that happens every June, uh, always like r a week after Cap Jazz. I love that. Yeah. So you're touring around a bit. Oh, yeah. Quite I'm a bit always, all the time. I'm always in and out. Uh, however, this fall is going to be our main tour. Um, so right now I'm just kind of in and out doing festivals. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. And uh, currently, right now, we're also doing an Indiegogo campaign. Uh, for the funk record. Tell me about that. Because uh, I went independent about three and a half years ago. Wow. i have been on labels for 20 years, like Warner Brothers and Atlantic and Universal, and I just got, uh, you know, you know, yeah, I'll just say that. Yeah, tired of it. And More so, control. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. So, I mean, the first funk record I did, uh, Universal almost didn't let me make it. Wow. They were like, oh, I don't know, you're a jazz guy, you should stay in your, you know. Stay in they, your lane. They were so scared of that. I was like, you know what, I just want to make music, mm. whatever I'm feeling in the moment. So um, decided to go indie, and so this record I'm doing, like I said, an Indiegogo campaign to, you know, get people involved in the making. Good. So there's kind of all these different levels you can do from just $10 to all kind of money, Make I'll go to your happen. house and play piano for you, <laughs> okay. whatever. So I how do you. they uh, get involved with uh, this campaign? I mean, there's a link on my, on my website, bryancomerson.com slash funk. There's got to be funk. There I always know, there I know, must I know. be funk. Uh, but we're doing uh, like a cartoon music video, so we'll draw, That's pretty cool. we'll draw you into a cartoon Oh, if you I want. love it. We got a bobblehead dog coming out. Wow. That's awesome, <laughs> I mean, awesome, all kinds though. of stuff. So, you know what? I mean, okay, you've been with major labels yeah. all this time, mm -hmm. and they do a lot of the work for you, at least yeah. in theory. That's that's how it works. As an independent artist, yep. there's a lot of work that goes because you're... Well, you have to have a great team surrounding you, and yeah. I have an amazing management team that I've been with for uh, over 10 years now. Um, so without that support, I certainly couldn't do it by myself. Mm. Um, of course, I, I'm kind of, I guess, still driving the ship, so to speak, yeah. and kind of coming up with all the creative and, hey, let's try this, 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 and that, and I want to do a book, and I want to do this, and, and all this stuff. And like I said, you have to have people around you yes, that can you help do. implement and make things happen. And you've got to have the right type of mindset, because right. everyone can't do that. Yeah, everyone I mean, can't do it. Yeah, you got to roll up your sleeves a little bit. Exactly. You know, that's what... I did when I started the Napa Festival as well. Um, it was just me and four people. Wow. Yeah. So, but I had this idea and I just, I was pushing and just wanted to make it happen. And I wouldn't let anybody say no. Good. You know? I mean, you hear all these stories and people that have created all these things always say that. Mm -hmm. And I just really, really believe that. No, you get that. it. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, try to apply that to my life as well. That's so. beautiful, yeah. Brian. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So three years in, you're happy about that decision? Uh, you're indie? Oh, very. Good. Very. Never I mean, going I, back? I'm doing stuff. I'm, st I'm making, I'm pressing vinyl on this record. You know, I 
they, well, they, they weren't going to do it. I'm, I'm doing alternate mixes and putting it up just on wow. my website you can check out. I'm doing extra videos and blogs and, I don't know, doing stuff that labels were, like, not really into. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? You've got full control. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Totally, I'm totally. so happy to see I you. I call my photographer that I like, and this person, I love and that it. Person. Just all those little things mm. that you don't have the control on. Right. So keep soaring. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, so keep doing you. your thing. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for taking a few minutes. I know you've, oh, you know, man. this is yeah. the end of the night. You yeah. just finished closing down the whole day. This we was were in Nashville yesterday, you. so flew here this morning. Woo! Played here. Tomorrow we play Newport Beach Jazz Fest. Awesome. So, uh, 6 a.m. flight. Oh my gosh. Go to I the want West you to Coast bottle up this there. energy and give me some of that. Yeah, Just I'll keep take it a moving. Break now and then. Right? Yeah. Gotta Good. Do it, gotta do it. Gotta shut it down sometimes. Why don't you but. shout out where everybody can stay in touch with you on social media and get oh. your music and all okay. that? Okay, well, I mean, uh, my website, brianculberson.com, and there's links to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. There's like so many damn things. There's so many right things. Now. Even if they go to your website, they can stay yeah, connected yeah. to That's you. That's the easiest thing to do. Thank you so yeah, much. My pleasure. For Capital Jazz TV, I'm Angela Stribling with Brian Goldberg. <laughs> right See on you. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you, sweetheart.